We have no other recourse but to wage a war on woke. We fight the woke in the schools. We fight the woke in the legislature. We fight the woke in the corporations. We will never, ever surrender to the woke mob. Florida is where woke goes to die. Welcome back to Red and Blue. That was Florida Governor Ron DeSantis in Spartanburg, South Carolina, coming as many in the Republican Party anticipate his possible entrance into a growing field, though not too fast, for the 2024 Republican nomination. Joining us is CBS News political director, Finn Gomez. Finn, thanks for being here. Uh, let's begin with a, a breaking story from the Washington Post just sure. now that President Biden, as long expected, is moving toward running for re-election. He might take some kind of step next week. What are you hearing from Democratic sources? Is there real pressure for the president to get in soon? Uh, yeah, there. I just spoke to a uh, Democratic source who's uh, who, who did say that there is has been some rumblings about a potential video announcement of some sort, um, which has taken some by surprise as a later time timeline was expected by some. But yeah, there is a donor retreat. We have com confirmed there's donors coming uh, later next week. Uh, this could be tied into to that. But there has been some movement uh, within uh, certain Democratic. Uh, political circles surrounding the White House uh, about a potential uh, announcement, re-elect announcement coming soon. Uh, when, when you think about this race, it's not just about whether someone else is going to run against President Trump. It's also about President Biden's decision. And when I'm talking to sources among the Biden circle, they keep saying he wants to run, mm. that he's healthy, and that, yes, a health issue could always flare up for anyone of that age. But at this point, he's leaning into it. He's been leaning into it in private. Um, let's let's turn to the Republican race, though. Uh, new, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie uh, had this to say in recent days. I'm a conservative. And I, and I believe as a conservative, the job of government is in the main to stay out of the business of business. I don't think Ron DeSantis is a conservative based on his actions towards Disney. So he, well, he had a few things to say that he wanted to take on. President, former President Trump directly. Yeah, I was there. I was there when he, and he was uh, and Christie was did sound and he said he was going to he's going to take his time with over the next couple of weeks uh, before he makes a decision on uh, 2024. He's gonna say, he said he was going to make a decision by May. Do you think he runs? Yes, I do think he runs. I think he thinks there's space for him to run. I think he's he said he doesn't want to be a paid assassin. He doesn't want to just be someone who's on stage taking on Trump. I, I mean, you're, you're, true. I did. I did ask him what would prevent him from running, and he said flat out, "If I did not believe that I could run." But at the same time, you know, listening to him and uh, that that and talking to other Republicans, um, um, there is a belief that 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 is a voice that is is yet to be heard yet within the Republican presidential. But he's primary. close to Trump, but then a, now a Trump antagonist. It's an interesting political yeah. dynamic because he was. Clearly, an ally of Trump for four years. Right. I mean, I mean, and and you know, there's, but that's that's so Trumpian, right? That's such a Trumpian narrative. Like someone close, and then he kicks him out of his circle, and then he brings him back in. I mean, but 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 Christie, as you know, has been very very vocal uh, about you know uh, a potential, a potential, a potential. And there are the candidates who are not run. even taking on Trump directly, like the potential candidate, Senator Tim Scott of South Carolina. Right. You covered him this morning. He spoke at a Heritage Foundation he did. event. Did he mention Trump by name ever? That, that's the thing. Like he he has been avoiding. He's did he mention Trump's name? I, I did not hear him. Say, no, he did not. Not once. He, he did not. He did not mention Trump's name. Uh, it's it's more about this sort of sunny, optimistic perspective that he has, and you know, like he thinks it can, that can counter Trump, it can counter DeSantis. But he has. He's been he's been holding back, and you've seen that. Was the room the, into it? Yes. To a degree, yes. You know, Roaring I on their feet? There, there was, or it, golf there, clap? They were a little bit louder than a golf clap. Maybe, maybe like, uh, you know. Enthusiastic. There, there, was, there was enthusiasm for that. I think there is a, I think there is a space for something like that. that optimistic well, if there's message, going to be any has, space but, for a Senator Tim Scott candidacy, it's going to be the Heritage Foundation. Yeah, that kind of traditional, yeah. conservative, sure. slightly Trump aligned. Right, right, right. Exactly. And, that, you know, and it, was, it was here in Washington or the Washington area, right? So that, you know, uh, it, it, he has, he's going back to Iowa this this, this weekend. We'll see how he does there. Uh, he did, you know, coming out of the gates, he did make some missteps on, on the abortion issue, as we saw when Kaylin Huey Burns interviewed him. I think, you know, and I think there's there's some adjustments he has to make there, but, you know, but uh, but he's trying to find, he's trying to find his space in this early stage. Back to the Biden story. He yeah. does have a challenger now for the Democratic nomination, Robert yeah. F. Kennedy Jr. Let's hear a, a bit of what he had to say this week. My mission over the next 18 months of this campaign 
and over my, throughout my presidency will be to end the corrupt merger of state and corporate power. I saw something interesting today on uh, the web that former Congressman Ron Paul was offering some supportive words Ron of Paul. Robert F. Kennedy yeah. Jr. So Kennedy's clearly trying to mount an outsider campaign, well known for being very anti-Dr. Anthony Fauci, being anti-vax. Uh, he seems to get a little traction in some of these initial polls, though you never know with these quick polls when someone gets in. Are Democratic sources at a high level, close to the presidency, close to Biden, nervous? No. Flat out, no. Uh, I did ask about that recent USA Today Suffolk poll uh, to, to a senior Democrat who just told me, essentially, uh, you know, anybody with the last name Kennedy is going to get that, you know, 14 percent of, like, you know, uh, uh, Biden 2020 voters. But no, there, you know, there's no expected primary debates happening in the Democratic primary. There, there, is, there is no fear. What I've, what I've seen, what I've heard uh, about, a, about a Kennedy Jr. Uh, candidacy. Finn Gomez, the political director here at CBS News, always on the beat, always working the phone. Thanks for all of your work.